Hey guys, Dave the Honest Agent here. I got a review for you guys of the Raptor uh, medical shears. These right here. Uh, these retail for about $69.99. Uh, they're available on Amazon uh, through Leatherman themselves. Optics Planet carries them. Uh, I've even seen these at Walmart. Um, the best part about these shears are there's multiple different tools in there. Uh, and and, and as, as you can see, they do fold up quite nice in a small package. They do come with a holster. Um, I have since lost the holster. I've had it for a number of years. Um, the warranty that Leatherman offers does cover these for 25 years. However, it does not cover that holster or uh, this bow clip on there. So as you can see, they fold up in nice compact size. Uh, all you got to do is open them up. There's a little triangular button right in the middle. Opens them right up. There's a few extra tools uh, that are included in uh, this tool. Um, such as you can see here, there's a glass punch, uh, very useful for breaking car windows or something if you need to extricate. Uh, there's a loop here for a uh, lanyard if you wanted some retention on these. Um, it does also have a ring cutter on the back, if you can see. You just put a ring in there, pinch right down, it'll cut that ring. Uh, will not work on titanium carbide rings. Uh, there's a special tool that you need to take those off. Uh, it also has a belt cutter, seat belt cutter, boot cutter, whatever you want to call them, right here, um, as well as an oxygen tank wrench uh, integrated into that. Um, these shears are awesome. Um, there's also a little ruler right here. Uh, it's kind of nice for estimating like sizes of cuts and stuff on, uh, on your trauma patients. These are made out of 420 HC steel, meaning that, they, meaning that they are very durable and that they keep an edge very well. Like I said, I've had these number of years. I've never needed to send it back to get it resharpened or, or anything like that. Um, uh, like I said, I talked about the warranty. They're covered for 25 years as well, like uh, as well as Leatherman's other products out there. Uh, I've used these, like I said, for the last few years. They serve me quite well. I don't really carry them anymore. Um, basically, my thought process behind the whole carrying shears on your person as a uh, paramedic um, has changed through my, my career. Basically, I carry a pocket knife with me. Most knives these days do have a glass punch on there. Um, so say in an emergency situation, you know, you got a car that's going into water or something, um, you need to extricate that patient. You can break that glass with, you know, your pocket knife, cut the seatbelt with the pocket, you know, with the, the blade and get that patient out before the car goes completely submerged. Um, in the event uh, where you need shears, are typically trauma patients. I'm sure as most firefighters, EMS, law enforcement know, um, you need to remove clothing. You need to open up the, the patient, expose them, make sure you find you know, all the sources of bleeding and take care of those. But when you first come up on your trauma patient, you're typically going to be able to recognize you know, immediate life threats and those are going to be your, your priorities. Uh, if you've seen my other video about tourniquets, you know that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to put a tourniquet high and tight on the low of the limbs, um, and you're not going to have to, you know, over the clothing, you're not going to have to worry about cutting up the clothes uh, and exposing that bleed uh, immediately. So uh, eventually you can bring that tourniquet down to more deliberate, um, when you know, do it just above the wound on the skin, uh, where you could use your shears to cut open that, but I feel like at that point in time in my assessment, you know, I have assessed all of the major life threats, um, you know, that could be airway, that could be major bleeding, that could be um, you know, penetrating chest trauma, etc, etc. Uh, but I feel like once you've reached that point where you've got that patient, those life threats addressed, you've got time to go into your bag or go into, you know, your you know, first in bag, your jump bag, whatever you got, uh, take out your shears to do that job. Um, as far as this product goes, <laughs> Great product. Um, I, they've performed very well. They've served their job function. The only thing um, that I don't like about them is the fact that they fold up um, for this reason. The, and that reason is cleaning. Cleaning your equipment is imperative, especially when you're dealing in medicine. Um, you don't. The last thing you want to do is introduce a contaminant from the previous patient, uh, especially when you need cheers. You're typically going to run into you know, bodily fluids, blood, vomit, uh, feces, you know, etc. Um, and that's going to get all over these. Now, 
while these are very useful and have other tools um, with you, I can't tell you how many times I've misplaced an oxygen, ox oxygen tank wrench and needed to, um, you know, pull these out and, and open up that tank. Um, it does make it kind of a pain because you got to clean all the little nooks and crannies and stuff in the actual shears, um, which is a lot easier said than done just because there's so many different, you know, it's a lot bigger surface area than typical shears. Um, the cons on this are, again, the price. You know, $70 is kind of a lot of money to spend on shears. Um, you know, for something like this, these are the kind of more typical shears you're going to find in, you know, most uh, jump bags or aid bags, that kind of stuff. Um, you can get these for about 10, 7 to $10. Some of them even have that oxygen tank uh, cutout uh, wrench in there as well. Um, so, you know, theoretically you could get, you know, 10 of these for the same price as this. Um, and I'm sure as you guys know that work in the field, uh, shears are one of those items that tend to get lost, uh, get stolen, get misplaced, they kind of disappear, tend to walk off. So $70 is kind of invest, or a pretty big investment for something that you could potentially lose pretty easily. Um, there's uh, kind of a standard test um, that medical shears uh, should be able to pass without flying colors. So we're back. As I mentioned before, uh, the test that I'm talking about is the penny test. The theory behind it is that your uh, medical shears should be able to cut a penny in half with no problems. That shows um, their durability as well as the edge that's kept on these shears. You know, these shears are meant to uh, cut through um, you know, body armor, boots, leather belts, firefighter bunker gear, um, etc., etc. These can cut through just about anything, and a penny is a pretty good representation of the, the uh, capacity of what these, these shears are capable of. So, as you can see, these Raptors shears they are a little bit thicker um, than you know your typical shears that you're going to find. These are going to cut a penny a lot easier um, than your you know, your standard shears that you're going to find. But as you can see, normal penny cut right in half, not too much problem on there. Um, like I said, you know. Your normal shears, seven, ten bucks. These are going to do the same thing. Um, I have done that or done this test a few times uh, with these shears, so it might take a little bit more pressure. Um, as you can see, the blades are uh, way thinner than the Raptors are, uh, but these should still pass pretty easily as well. But you're seeing it's taking a lot more effort, but they passed. In conclusion. I think that these shears are a great tool uh, for people that want to carry them. Uh, this is just my two cents, you know, why I don't carry them. Um, they're a great product. They've performed very well in every situation that I've used them in. Uh, they're nice and compact. I just don't like having that extra weight uh, on my, you know, I don't carry a whole lot on my person while I'm at work. It just makes it a little bit more uncomfortable, it makes everything a little bit heavier. That said, you know, if you if that's something you don't mind carrying, you know, a little bit extra weight, a little bulk on your person, in your pocket, in your on your belt, etc. Um, these are definitely a great product to take a look at. Uh, they, I've had absolutely no problems with them with, with the extra tools in there. It saves some time, um, you know, trying to dig through your aid bag or your jump bag uh, to find you know a specific tool like an oxygen wrench or your ring cutter or something. Um, if you thought this review was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you very much.